What a way to start Season 2 of Tower of God by introducing a character that we don't even know. Bro's name is Ja Wang Nan, but if you're Korean and you say that name backwards, Nan Wang Ja, which literally means I am the prince. Brody has a ring with the Zahad eyes on it as well. Clearly, the show was trying to tell us, hey, hey, this guy, Zahad Prince. Hello? I don't really like his weapon style. The Pokebombs, they're pretty effective. It even did a lot of damage to Bomb. But then again, his like mental was a bit stunted when he realized about Rachel and maybe his like Shinsu guard went down. I'm not sure. He seems like a nice guy though overall. And right now, the bad guy technically is Bum. Because he was trying to kill everybody mercilessly. So you can already see the kind of training that Fug has done to make him the slayer. Something has changed in here, but what I don't think has changed is how he approaches Rachel. And I swear to God, if this season is just all about simping Rachel again... I can't drop it because the viewership's too good! Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Yeah, you, you wanted to be the star! Zahat didn't build a tower, though. He was the first one to climb to the top. More lore here, hold up. It's not even close. Fucking skit so touching the t You're so far away, still. What do you mean? Ugly ass girl! Hmm. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you Based on that no smile and the soundtrack going boom, boom, I think Rachel got pissed here. I think Bomb's answer was not satisfactory to Rachel. Rachel wanted to be like, wow, wasn't that a great story? But Bomb is like, isn't that lonely climbing all to the top by yourself? You're like, you ruined the story right now. Hmm. But we know at the end of the day, she wanted to be the star. It's not about reaching the stars. She just wants to be the star and have everyone worship her. <laughs> Look how far away they're sitting aside. I love this. Like, it's so crazy how this guy seemingly was the bad guy that was gonna start shit, but now we've banned it all together against Bob. Like, how did this happen? We'll see. I doubt another person like Bob's gonna show up. What do we rack? You got chocolate bars for me? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm a man. Candy my ass. You don't get any, bro. You're not getting any. Oh, yeah. You can feel even worse about it. That's right. It's so good. No chocolate bars for him. Even Bomb gets one. It's gonna remind it of Rack, maybe? Rack loved chocolates. Although it was a banana in the webtoon. He might go easy on us. Good parents. Then what was the point if you're lonely at the end of the day? No, I hate it when I hang out with you, but I know that all he wants is get back together. Oh, I just like this Rachel narration is pissing me off. Brahmin! Kid! It's a lot of lipstick. Deliver my food once. Food delivery guy. Role model? Oh, it's the fire girl! It's the fire girl! Whoa! Lone Shark, dude! Lone Shark, because his shoulder pad is so pointy, more pointy than girls in Korean drama. But it's the fire girl again, okay? She's got death as well? Is that the lone... Yeah, exactly. 
no, また来たのかよ。What's the purple hair guy though? 隣のやつはなんだ ？I'm gonna assume he's also Lone Shark because of his pointy shoulders. Like, what is this design, bro? Like, I guess it looks cool and more menacing. Okay. Huh? Cute. No. Because you're cuter. No, I'm not gonna do that fucking race. He should have hit her up with that though. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> Ten great families. Okay. So now we know Blue Turtle Great Family. I can't say that name because YouTube thinks that I'm saying a slur. There is uh Lao Race family, Pon Sefar, I don't even know. That's another great family. Yun family. What else do we know? Is there any other great families that we know at the moment? Those three are at the top of my head. Ha family? Ha. Lopobia, yeah, that's uh, Laure. Who is the Ha family? Night Guy's family? Was they also a great family? I thought that Night Dude was just like caring after a princess, but that had nothing to do with a great family. Yuri Zahad? Ah, Yuri's from a great family too. Ha family? Okay, okay, okay. Four families we know then. Yuri Ha? Ha? Uh, Pon Lopobia? I don't fucking know. Laure, Yuri, Yun, Blue Turtle, you know. Yo! Kim Lurker. Really? You too? I thought that they were just dudes that was just like running an operation to scam people at this floor, but like, I, yeah, I guess it makes sense that they want to like climb the tower too. Does that mean, you know, you quit? Why owe you a dead? How does that work? Are you are we free? Huh? The Undertaker! Oh, him. Prince? <laughs> Nepotism works here too! He'll just buy his way up to the fucking tower? He's a literal son of a CEO, and he's using the dad's influence to get to the 20th floor. It like, surely you can't just fucking pay yourself up, right? There's no way, but like, I guess you could buy like really, really strong mercenaries and have like a team formed around so that they kind of carry you. <laughs> He's Bronny James? Bro, I feel, okay, uh, this is NBA talk. I don't know how many of you guys follow basketball, but people are calling Bronny, son of LeBron James, who made it into the NBA right now as Boruto. They have a picture of LeBron. And it's like a meme. It's like the man who had nothing. Then you see Brawny on the side. It says the man that was given everything. The amount of hate Brawny's getting right now is so bad, man. Let that kid cook a little bit. Every TikTok feed is just people hating on Brawny. Anyways, NBA talk. I hope Brawny actually does well, but the hype is around Bryce apparently. <laughs> Yo, that guy. He's not fucking around. What? Hut! Sword guy! He be Hut? I don't believe it. I. Hut got off screens? No, Hut didn't get off screen. No, don't do it to me like that. Devil of the right arm. There was a reaction from Mr. Wing guy over here. They call him the devil of the right arm and this guy reacted. So something about that name. That's a familiar name. Yeah. Renka or Yun. Yeah, her fire just killed everybody except, you know, Wangna. Okay. So that we can take notice and drop out instead of meaningless fighting? It's looking pretty bad. The other side is pretty cracked. But we got my man. We got a slayer in the building, man. You think a slayer, the man that's trained to take out the fucking king? You think he's gonna lose to these phonies? I don't know. The rumor had it that Hot's lost, but Bomb is different, bro. 
うちのお坊ちゃまが次の試験で他のやつら全員潰すさせとこうかなと俺って優しいだろどこかだ Honestly, the loan shark, yeah, he evil fuck, but like, I don't know. He's kind of funny to me. I like his outfit, the flower design is kind of interesting. I don't hate him. It's just like, all right, he just exists. It's, I don't mind him. What the? Yo, who let the kid out of his bedtime? What, what, what is this dude? You're the proctor? <laughs> he is cute as whole fu- He's the proctor? Well, in the world of Tower of God, Shinsu can pretty much just like halt your body from aging and shit like that. So, alright. I love these tests! Put your hand on it, put the Shinsu! Bigger number, better person! Oh, I love this entrance exam like kind of test. <laughs> So simple, but so high. How many? How many? Eight test takers, so only top eight makes it through. Alright, top eight, let's get it. Yeah. Because he uses Pokebombs, the Shinsu bombs. He himself can't use Shinsu? He's just a fucking Tenten? He's truly Tenten, no chakra? So First off! Let's see it, my boy! What happened? Oh. Uh... Oh, shit. Wangnan is Tenth. Polly is for number one is Akraptor. Who the fuck is Akra? What? Where is Bomb? Where Akraptor, Lurker, Shasha, Reiko, Polly, Graham, Tin, Salsa, Lolly, Nia, Wangnan, Miseng, Goseng, Young, Bruce, Barbo, Routine, Guarer. I ain't see no fucking. I ain't see no Bomb here. He probably has a different name though, right? Akraptor though. AK Raptor. Why is this guy so cracked? Why is AK Raptor number one? Who is AK Raptor is a silver guy? The buzz cut guy? I I'm underestimating him. He's important, huh? Ridiculous he said. What? Don't forget that the end will come for you someday too. <laughs> That's so ominous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, his name is Kong Horia. Okay, because like AK Raptor, like I don't know what to call him. AK Raptor or AK Raptor? I feel like AK Raptor sounds even cooler because like AK forty nine and like a like a fucking T Rex Raptor. AK Raptor, bro. Well, Horiang. Number one now, taking the spot, doubling, almost doubling, not not necessarily double exactly, but roughly doubling his points, man. That's a huge lead. What? Devil's right arm, let's see it. No, I'm thinking right now, what if Mr. Inferno Punch made it here? You think that if Mr. Inferno Punch in season one, he actually charged this fucking punch, you think that he can make it through this test? I wonder, man. I really wonder. Power of a devil? Like, bro is just straight up looking like Chad from Bleach right now. Wasn't Bleach literally the fist of the left or something? Devil's left or some shit? Wait, wait, wait. Chad literally had the same shit. It's like... Diablo fist or some shit. This guy is like a devil theme too, huh? Ooh, new high rank. His name is Rob Devil. All right, almost 12k. That's pretty much almost doubling our score too. Jesus. You're up. You missed. 
I see uh, she is a very cunning. She's very cunning. She's, she's really attractive, but like, I see the kind of character she is. Got it. Headshot! <laughs> How high? Ooh, Imagine if it's top 8 though. What? Wow! How did she double this shit up? Because... Shinsu, at the end of the day, it's not about how hard you hit it. It's about the quality of Shinsu that you already have inside. I don't know. Everybody's just doubling everyone's scores. That's the young family. Ooh, <laughs> he's just eating a fucking bucket of KFC. Nah, Bomb hasn't gone yet. Bomb's gonna double the last score. Everyone is doubling right now and getting new high score. Dude, when the Slayer walks up to the plate... Oh. Well said. No, 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 I don't believe it. No, no one saw how it happened. There's a bunch of fucking paid actors, you know, obscuring the vision. What just happened? What do you mean? How did he... Is, is he actually? Is he actually that good? No way. What's gonna be worse than a Nepo kid is a Nepo kid with talent. I hope that's not what Prince is. Oh, fuck. He's getting a massage already! <laughs> so... Like, that was genuine talent. He has Shinsu quality stronger than the 10 families. Well, she tripped. I don't know how much it matters. Like, the punch, the trip to the head, did that matter? Would Yun got a higher score if she actually punched correctly? I'm not sure. But this guy still got a higher score than everyone else before her, too. This is nuts. And a Nepo kid is fucking us up. Okay, he's not bald. Come on. If you're gonna call AK Raptor bald, you gotta call your Lone Shark bald too and your buddy on the fucking right with the devil's right arm, okay? I am the bald guy, okay? I am the guy that yells bald. I don't even qualify AK Raptor as bald. What? It's a buzz cut! Yeah. Buddy thinks that we're regular. <laughs> Strongest regular here? Ah, uh, not quite, not quite. Even the Proctor! Fuck him up! Oh my god. That sigil! Fog! Fog mentioned! 134k! Not even doubling, bro. Bro fucking almost 6x. That is fucking insane. Viole. Not 25th the bomb. Not 24th the bomb. We are Viole. Alright, new name, new fog name. Well, the loan shark quit their job. Well, I don't know. The guys that have everything can easily climb are so lucky. It's like, you understand what bomb had to do to get here though? If. If he understood season one and the betrayal, like, I don't think you'd be saying this shit. Quite often, you see successful people, you know, achieving grand heights, and you're like, damn, why aren't I them? All you're seeing is the end product, the final destination that they suffered to get there, without understanding what it took to get there. But Bam is super talented. He is just born with this shit. Yo. Yo, we're about to get the fucking Serena treatment with Wang Nan. Wang Nan's about to fucking pack up and leave. This is the this is the same shit again. Bogdan's us about to leave after getting the most fucking dialogue in episode one. You can't do that, bro. You wasted so much time. We've invested so much time into your dialogue. You better deliver. Finish. <laughs> already crying. Will everyone cry. Whoa! I thought it was top eight. But it was eight people are gonna move forward. He didn't specify. Number one chooses. Okay. The chocolate bar. <gasps> Bro, the choco bars are gonna pay off. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
The core group. The core group. Let's bring him in. Chocolate group. Oh, he's talking. Pick me! Pick me! Bro, just did a 180. You know what? This is better than being a loser. This is way better than being a loser. You know what? Shoot your shot. Let's go. What do you have? You got the Zahn ring. Whoa! I will end the era of the 10 great families. It's like a... That's kind of significant, right? Hold, hold up. You're actually changing the whole system in the tower. What a sales pitch. <laughs> Imagine you do all this. You're actually on all fours begging and he says no. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Imagine. He says nah. You're already crawling, bro. You already won. I wonder what the loan shark was thinking. I wonder what the loan shark is actually thinking right now. And like, that's an interesting personality trait that like, he throws his pride away. Bro is willing to be so cringe and be the laughing stock if it means moving forward. I, I guess everyone has their own way of doing things, but we're going to see a little bit more of how Wang Nan operates. AK Raptor! <laughs> My man also threw his pride away. All right, everyone begging on their knees. Let's go. What? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, my my late wife's last wish was for me to climb and pass the twentieth floor so I can meet my. Wait, why the fuck do you need to climb beyond twentieth floor to get to the daughter? You're telling me your daughter is higher than you in the tower? Is that's what you're saying right now? Oh, big boy! <laughs> Choco girl. The big boy is pretty interesting, right? Someone I have to fight. He has like his own separate plot line going. Like he, this is like a side quest straight up. Like the test is a main side quest that we're, I'm sorry, the main quest line that we're following. But like this dude is like a side quest guy. Like what's going on? <laughs> Chuckle girl. <laughs> you think the kid's also lying? Wouldn't it be funny if the kid was also fucking trying to act and everyone's trying to take him as above? What? That girl is actually my. First of all, he said Goshujin sama. For, 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 first of all, Wang Nan just declared bomb Goshujin sama. This is so chaotic right now. What the fuck, AK Raptor? What did you just say? Biore-san. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't choose her? Like, she's top pick. She's like number one. Well, nah, there's a lot of other strong people too. But like, she's definitely one of the top picks. Wait! She accidentally killed her team. That's why she was like, oh, no, in episode one, when we saw her for a bit, I see. So she just is an actual idiot. We saw a little bit of clumsy moment, but she just killed her entire team. That is actually fucked up. Me. 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 You all fail. I'm only going through. Dude, Bob has changed so much. Season one, Bob would have been like, oh, we can all figure out a way to climb the tower together. But now he's like cold, ruthless. 
just murderous intent. Nah, you think you're coming with me? Thank you for all the begging. I'm out. Good luck. <laughs> you're not training our chains so much. Oh? Well, like, if you compare it to, like, the season one people of our friend group, I guess these dudes are a little bit slacking, right? Like, I, I bet they're away. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it, right? Young family? No, we got the blue turtle family. Fug Slayer. Fake thing. Oh, she thinks we're role-playing as Fug right now. She thinks that we're actually Chuni and cosplaying as, like, a terrorist at a tower. <laughs> Jew Viol Grace Fug Slayer Candidate. There's a lot of different comments on what the acronyms of Fug is. Something under Grace, I don't fucking know, but Jew Viol Jew Viol Grace. He goes by Viol though. And his family. You mean the princesses? And like Wangnan is a princess Zaha too, so he's technically family too, right? Like what? He just straight up says this shit? I thought that terrorist would be like more discreet. Like if you have an assassin trying to kill the king of the tower, they probably shouldn't go around just like saying, declaring, you know, all this shit, right? Like are we allowed to just fucking flex that hard? Another testing coming. One v one versus a proctor. Alright, little break time. Little break time. <sighs> yeah, you know what? Because they get all their lodging, right? They get all the fucking you know place to sleep, like a fancy ass hotel. That's where all the the test fees are going. That actually kind of makes sense. Ah, uh, you hope that love will win against Viol, then he might choose you. He's not gonna talk about Zahad. Like, I... Does he... Why won't he talk about Zahad or anything about his background? Because obviously it'd be endgame shit, right? But like, if he really is the Princess Zahad and he has the fucking ring, like... Brother, just like... Give me a little bit of monologue in your head about your king and everything. Part-time girl, what's up? What do you mean, let's go take a bath? You Nia together? And I kind of worry about Nia because she's so cute. But is she really going to make it? Uh, I don't know, man. Nia is a guy? Yeah, I guess they can base together. All right, Juvial Grace is here, sharing the room with the young family. So. Huh? <laughs> Damn, fuck What? Do you think that Viol is a woman? Because of his long hair and his androgynous looks? She only thinks that. No one else does, right? Is she just stupid and thinking that? Sure. We're doing it. We're going to- Alright! Alright! <laughs> eh? <laughs> she is so slow. She is so slow and clumsy and such an airhead and so confident. She's just so fiery and dumb, bro. I like her. She's actually really fun. The ring! Oh! Ah, <laughs> Zahado fashion
It's just merch. You gonna actually just say it's a fucking merch? It's a good excuse, I guess. The hard of fashion, that's it. Yeah, it's important. The man that's gonna kill Zahad, bro. Oh, director. He really hates Fug. Next episode, a ranker versus bomb. Alright. Fug was the chibi cunny moment? Yeah? Yes. The way you grovel is very beautiful, Mr. Prince of Zahad. And that is another episode of Tower of God filled with some of the most... Like, like, like this entrance exam like test where you, you know, put your hand on a meter and you get a number gate. It's such a simple test, but it's just like, I love shit like this, man. Reminded me of a start of an isekai, man. Everybody here was so strong. And Mr. Prince himself, the Nepo kid with talent, this frustrates me that he's actually talented. But like, I guess he is him, man. We also learned about the existence of the Yun family. We know that Mr. Big Boy has someone to find. He's on his own side mission. What else do we know? We know that Yun is a dumb, clumsy airhead. We know love hates Fug. Well, I think it's natural for everyone in the tower to kind of like hate Fug. Because there's probably, well, it depends, right? There's probably like different faction of people that are pro-Zahad and people who are anti-Zahad. And because he's a proctor of the tower, I guess he's like pretty much pro-Zahad side and he's going to do whatever it takes to stop him. So next episode is going to be Bomb versus Love. And this is a ranker. And I know we fight, fought rankers before in the last test, but they were a the handicap. It's not going to be a fair fight. But then again... Mr. Viol, you know, he's got different training. He got, he's a bug slayer now. So maybe he can keep up with the ranker now too. I'm not completely sure. One of the things that really surprised me too is Bomb's personality. Not in just today's episode, but last episode too. Cold, ruthless, merciless killer. It's the point where he even rejected every one of them and said, you're not suitable to meet my standards. Now, there is two ways that I see this happening with Bomb. Either he really is a menace, a cold, ruthless killer, or he's actually doing this to save them because he knows that shit's going to get dangerous and you can't keep up with me. Therefore, I need to like push you away. But instead of me saying that, I'm going to come off as really cold and ruthless. This is the two ways. I feel like it's going to be the latter, knowing Bomb's character. Like that innocent boy in him may still be there because he's still thinking about Rachel and stuff like that. But who knows, man? Who really knows? And he pretty much declared that he's gonna kill Zahad, King Slayer, Fug Slayer. And is like Wang Nan truly the prince then? Why is Viol giving the ring back so casually? There's something more here meets the eye. I just wish that Wang Nan would fucking monologue or talk about his dad or family life, but whenever we're gonna get that. Who knows? Only one way to find out. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.